The NHL 25 gameplay deep dive is here. In today's video, I'm just gonna be watching the deep dive, give my first reaction, and then once we're done, we're gonna go through it together, dissect it, and see if there's anything we can find that we didn't notice at first. Shout out to EA for sending me a copy of the trailer a little bit early so I can record some content for you. If you guys are interested, the link to the full trailer is down below in the description. Welcome, I'm Mike Inglehart. Hi, Mike. And this is the EA Sports NHL 25 game. What do we game. have in Today, store? We're going to take a look at Ice Cube, Shell's new logic driven gameplay system, and its suite of features, including the graphics look really good. Skating system, First thing I noticed next gen vision control, empowered AI, powered AI, AI. overhaul of our AI mm -hmm. player system, and the new set of and reactive, reactive action actions. We already know these three things are going to be in there, and they're skill based one timers. Skill the other thing that we knew was going to be in this the game of hockey is evolving. Players the skating, yep. Smarter huh. and more technical than ever before. Which is why we turn to them and our cover stars, the Hughes brothers, as inspiration for our latest gameplay innovation, Ice Cube. Next gen vision control. Alright, well, what do we got? Shell skating system that allows you to create more time and space on the ice by providing fresh abilities, improvements, and please don't score against the wings. Come on. The oh, they did. Explosiveness and expression on the ice for human and AI players alike. Now, walk the blue Why is everyone attacking the wings here? The play, square up to the puck carrier, thread the needle through Oh my god, he stopped the pass. And stay locked on goal for better shot opportunity. 10 out of 10 game. Example, they stopped the pass. The next vision control is active. Ooh, that's in interesting. That could be dangerous. The, the short side there? Skate with the net as the target. Huh. This opens up the player's body, creating the ability to skate and attack the net. Shoot the puck or pass from anywhere on the offense. This is interesting. In a contextually more authentic way. If you are not in possession of the puck, on the offensive side, the player will target the puck when next gen vision control is active. So essentially it's holding L2 when they say the active vision blends control. blends nicely with the new skill based one timers. Defensively, next gen vision control gives you more control to face up to the puck at all times, helping you keep better gaps okay. and spacing in the zone. This allows for more. Look at that! Pick it up the puck! Opportunities Are we going to be able to intercept passes this year? Or poke check the puck off the opposition stick. Next gen mm. vision control ultimately gives you more control on both sides of the puck and provides a more fluid skating experience. I always worried it was going to be offense only, but it does look like it's going to help out on defense, which is Empowered AI is a complete needed, I guess. AI player system, heightening CPU skaters' awareness of other players and positioning Ooh. on the ice, giving them more fluid and helpful reads to execute in a true-to-life fashion. On top of that, all of Chell's in-zone strategies have been rebuilt from the ground up to allow skaters to better utilize open space and position themselves to be bigger offensive threats. Interesting. We've also revamped rush plays and how players establish zone possession. The AI players now read plays better and glide into offensive positions instead of just crashing the far That could post, be helpful. Meaning you'll have more options each time you enter the zone. New to NHL 20. This is what I wanted to see. Like this is it right here. Animations allow players to swim. That was so sick. And into position smoothly. Like it's exactly what I wanted it to be. And getting tangled up with each other. Plus, all new panic turns let players quickly change this. direction and use their stick to take away space if they are beaten on the ice, making defensive players more athletic and dynamic. Hmm. Together, all of this means that our on-ice players are now more aware of what is happening during play. Creating that little slip, man, I'm gonna like that. And improving the moment-to-moment -moment flow of gameplay. Thanks to Ice Cube opening up more offensive opportunities, the new skill-based one-timers really okay. shine. Anchored by a new in-game visual indicator that identifies a I feel like people aren't gonna like that there's an indicator on the ice. Timer. When passing to a team, yeah, people will hate that. Input the shot control as the puck arrives. The timing window to nail a skill-based one-timer is dynamic and takes into account how fast the puck is traveling as well as the shooter's abilities like the 1T X factor. If time oh, there you go, X factor is confirmed. Unleash the skill-based one-timer, which is more powerful Jeez. and accurate. If your timing is off, the shot's accuracy drops, raising the stakes and making the action all the more exciting. Thank you for watching the NHL oh, that's it? Gameplay Deep Dive. We're excited to see how you take advantage of Ice Q and its ability to create time and space on both ends of the ring. Stay tuned for more info on presentation, gameplay modes, and more. Okay, it's a lot shorter than I was expecting, that's for sure. Being realistic, everything in that trailer sounded great, but we gotta get the game in our hands before we can actually make a decision on how much this is actually gonna change the gameplay. 
But yeah, honestly, I was expecting that to be a little bit longer. It was only, what, four minutes or so? I thought we were getting a little bit longer of a deep dive than that. A few things I do want to talk about in the trailer that I noticed at first glance. Let's get into that. The first thing up is the score clock. We have it in action in the top left corner of the screen, so take a look here. Here's a couple shots of what it looks like with a power play and a five on three power play. And a quick look at what happens to the scoreboard when a goal is scored. Something else I noticed that a lot of people were asking about. Yes, it does appear that the pressure system will be returning in NHL 25. I know a lot of people were asking, a lot of people don't want it in the game, but there it is. Also, I pointed it out during the actual deep dive, but yes, X Factors will be returning. How fast the puck is traveling, as well as the shooter's abilities, like the 1T X Factor. Now, other than the graphics looking really good, I didn't notice much else visually, so let's get into the actual gameplay. The skating definitely has me intrigued, I'm curious to see how it actually feels. And the most exciting thing for me here is that Brett Burns is getting in front of the puck and actually stopping a pass. If this is the year we can finally knock down pucks and stop passes from going through our players, I will rejoice and call NHL 25 the greatest game of all time. Not just NHL, every game ever. Please, for the love of God, be true. I also really like the way that the defensive positioning was put here. The defender squaring himself up and being able to poke that puck off the stick there. I know I mentioned it earlier, but I was really worried that the next-gen vision control would be an offensive feature and it'd be really tough to defend, but it does look like they thought of both sides of the puck, and hopefully that's how it ends up playing. They said they focus on the AI being smarter and getting into better position, and you can see it here. Right, they're no longer just standing around waiting for a pass, they're moving, trying to get open, I like that. The AI has been so bad for so long, hopefully, and I pray, that this is the year that the AI is actually decent. This right here is what has me the most excited, the reactive actions, O'Connor slipping through the defense. This means that the AI is not just going to like run into each other and make out while the rest of the play is happening. I am thrilled. You know, you take a face off and the AI is literally just running into each other. That's not going to be a thing anymore. If that's true and that's something I don't need to worry about anymore, I'm going to be so happy playing this game. What's important is that that wasn't user initiated, right? That was the AI moving into position and getting out of the way of another player. That's huge. Realistically, I can only be so excited right now though, right? Like, yeah, it's a trailer. It's meant to look good. It's meant to sell you the game. Until I actually get the game in my hands that I can say with full certainty that the AI is smarter and they get out of the way and they get in position and all that, until I can actually feel it in my hands, I can only be so excited. Now, there was something that had me pretty worried in the deep dive trailer, and it's this goal right here with Nathan McKinnon, where he circles around the net and goes short side. The last thing I want to see is more of these short side shots. We had a ton of them in NHL 24, and I'm definitely worried that this right here is going to be extremely OP. Now, as for the skill-based one-timers, I think that they're going to be a lot of fun. Lining up that perfect shot and getting it to go, I mean, in NHL 24, one-timers barely exist at all anyways. But I do think there's going to be a lot of people that are upset that there's more indicators on the ice. So the one thing I do hope for is that you're able to turn it off, right? I know a lot of people don't like the stuff on the ice. Hopefully you can just turn everything off and just look at it like an actual hockey game. Going through the trailer again, I noticed something that I thought was pretty cool. The goalie here allows a goal and then looks up to the sky. I don't remember seeing this specific animation in NHL 24, so if this is new, sweet. If this isn't new, my bad. Anyways, that's going to do it for my breakdown of the NHL 25 Deep Dive trailer. Not an absolute ton to talk about here. They did talk about the four major points we were expecting, but not much else on top of that. I appreciate y'all watching. Let me know down below what you think of the NHL 25 Deep Dive trailer. And I'll see you tomorrow here on the channel with another video, and hopefully next week with the presentation Deep Dive, because that's the next one that is coming out. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.